Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Ryan Garcia stops Romero Duno in the first round. And you know, it's not really much to break down on the fight on this, but we just have to be honest about what we're seeing from Ryan Garcia. Fight after fight, we're seeing continuous improvement. You know, the fact that he's already moved over to Eddie Reynoso as his trainer, the fact that he's getting tutelage from Canelo Alvarez. And if you look at his massive frame being at least five foot ten, you can tell that he's gonna go a long way in a sport. And if you things that you notice about Ryan Garcia that's making him a very special prospect at this stage is his hand speed, is his size, is his power, and is his eagerness to learn. He's been making adjustments and he's you know he's learning the ins and outs of boxing he's using his jab he's using his reach his height and his power and putting them all together i think that you know ryan garcia is one of the best young prospects that we have he's a very special talent he's going to go a long way and i can see him being a champion of multiple divisions a lot of people are overlooking when you name some of the best young talents and we already know the best young talents out there are devin haney shakur stevenson but Ryan Garcia should be included in that mix because performances like this, you know, you stop a guy like Ramiro Duno, who's a very quality win for Ryan Garcia. You have to realize that Ryan Garcia is a very young kid at this point. And so he's nowhere near his prime. He's nowhere near a complete you know product at this point but he's taking massive steps to get to the next level to take a step up to do better and that's what he's continuously doing he's building performance after performance into a better fighter and is showing in the ring and paying off he's already making intelligent business decisions by getting guys like Eddie Reynoso getting sparring with Canelo Alvarez and due to his massive frame his power his speed his size and his ring IQ is actually developing he's picking the right shots at the right time his defense has dramatically improved you know I remember there was a time when Ryan Garcia got hit way too much but now he's using his height and reach a lot more in the fights and it's making him one of the best pro prospects in the game but once again unbiased as always it's the IBFP